Forget candied apples. This Halloween, why don't you make some scary skulls? So using pears instead of apples, I've rinsed them off, and we are going to dip these in white chocolate, which is even more delicious than an apple in candy. So you wash off your pear, and then I've got some popsicle sticks that I'm just gonna jam it right into where the uh, stem of the pear would be. So I've got it kind of like that. And then I've got some white chocolate here that I've softened. This is white baking chocolate. So I'm just gonna stir it a little bit and I'm going to just drizzle it over my pear, like so. And you just kind of drizzle it and spin at the same time just to kind of get like a real even coat. And then I'm just gonna hold it there for a little bit and just get off all the excess. Let's make sure we got good coverage at the bottom. Now I've got some floral foam here, which is what I'm gonna use to stand it up in. And this is so great because you can stand these up and let them dry and now we're ready to decorate our scary skulls. So I'm just gonna pull one of these right out of the floral foam. And I've got these custard dishes here. These are so perfect for laying down your pear. And you can put it down in there and then you can work on putting all the features on without worrying about it sliding off. So we've got our black licorice here and these are so great to give it that real skeletal look like little vacant eye cavities and things like that, super creepy. So to get these on, I'm gonna use the same white chocolate that I already heated up. So I'm just gonna bring that over here and I'm just gonna take, start with the eyes and these little black licorice here, I'm just gonna put a little bit of white chocolate on the back. Just put enough to make sure that you've got some to stick on. So I'm just gonna put it on like that. And then I'm just gonna stick it on to my skeleton. He's got one eye there. And I'm gonna put another one on. And stick them on over here. So now I've got my skeletal pear there all decorated and I'm gonna sit him back in the foam. And so like I said before, the foam, it's got a couple of different uses. It's really, really cool. So what I did was I cut a piece of the same foam that I'm using here and I'm putting it inside of a little black container. And this is so cool to be able to serve it in. You can put this down and everyone gets their own little skull in a little bag like this, so cool. So I'm just gonna take this one this little finished skull here, ooh, so creepy. I'm just gonna pop them in. And then I've got these really, really cool, colorful green jelly beans that I'm gonna use to fill up the inside of my container to give it even more of a candied effect. So I've got this one all filled in with my candy and he's got his scary skull in there, and this is such a cool way to present a really, really fun and very scary dessert.